What's up YouTube, Capital G here. So we're talking the dark illusion in this video and we have ourselves a new pendulum counter trap. Well, one that is designed to counter pendulums. This is an anti-pendulum card. It's called Pendulum Hole. It's a counter trap, as I just said. It says, if you or your opponent pendulum summons, negate that pendulum summon and return those cards to the owner's deck. Now, first off, I don't know why you would ever want to negate your own pendulum summon unless you desperately, desperately, desperately needed one monster. But it's like, at that point, you're already going like neg two. I don't really see one monster making a difference, let alone you got to have a way of getting that monster back. So you'll probably never, ever, ever like negate your own pendulum summon and come out ahead or something like that. Unless, I don't know, it's some crazy situation where you just had to activate this card to like free up some space on your spell and trap, you know, board or your something like that. But anyways, I would say that on face value this card is decent i don't think that it's great and i don't think that it's bad because like there are other cards that this card will instantly like be compared to um a few cards that i can think of off the top of my head are solemn strike which is currently at three time space trap hole which is currently at three and then uh, a card like grand horn of heaven now I could say that, you know, um, Trap Tricks, or excuse me, uh, Time Space Trap Hole is searchable by Mermilio, but I feel like that would be kind of comparing, you know, like I, I could obviously make a counter argument that this card is searchable by Guiding a Rotne. I do feel like, um, you know, Time Space being kind of usable straight from the deck with uh, Reflasia, which is a generic rank four, is something that would definitely tip the favor, like it would tip the scale in the favor of, of that card versus this one. You know what I mean? They're, they're both can be used, like all three of these cards that I listed can can all be used to stop pendulum summoning but they can all be used to stop other things and this card can only stop pendulum summoning and that's kind of an issue because if you happen to play against a non-pendulum deck you can't even like use this card i would never think that you'd want to main deck this card unless pendulums just became completely the meta but i would have kind of liked a little more utility out of this card like i think it would have been nice if it would have not only just spun back all the pendulum summon monsters but if it would have like spun back your opponent's cards in their pendulum zones as well then it would have been like nuts it would have it would have been a, a serious risk for their for like the player to even try to pendulum summon you know because i do like the fact that this card is cost free you know that's something that it definitely has on cards like uh, solemn notice or time space where if you want to stop a mass pendulum summon you've got to either give up 1500 light points or i mean hell sometimes with time space you might have to give up 5000 and i mean you might not even have that if you use like a solemn early in the game or something like that or if you took a couple of direct attacks this card is always going to be 100 percent free there's also i guess the argument of sending monsters back to the deck versus destroying them and putting them in the graveyard you know we see instant fusion seeing a lot of play so sometimes you don't want to send cards to the graveyard as your opponent might you know they can soul charge them back or if they're level four they might instant fusion them make uh xc plays that they wouldn't normally have i would actually think that sending back to the deck is generally better like there's only a couple of relevant monsters in the meta that I could think that I just would not want to send back to the deck because if my opponent gets to use them multiple times, it could be an issue. Um, Luster Pendulum and Squirrel Cabat Joker are really the only two that come to my mind. Uh, I don't really think anything else is really that relevant. It's not like people ever pendulum summon monkey board, you know, where they could just send it back and then search it with some other card and then, you know, play it again. Like people don't, they don't pendulum summon monkey board. So that's not really that relevant. Um, I think this card is pretty decent, but like I just look at other cards like Solemn Strike and I just think, man, it covers so much more ground. It can stop hand effects and it can stop cards in the graveyard. It can stop, you know, just normal summon effects like, you know, cards that have just trigger summons. You know, a card like Time Space can stop when, anytime your opponent tries to go to their extra deck like an xc summon grand uh what's it called grand horn of heaven is the same thing it can stop like xc's and synchros and you know special summons from the hand a card like time space can take out four runners and stuff and this card can only exclusively be used on pendulum summons so i do think that it does have some utility just because the card is free and because spinning to spinning back to the deck is really good, but I I kind of wish that it did a little more. Like I wish it was you know trap. I, I wish it was like pendulum trap hole or something like that, to where you'd be able to search it with Mermilio. It would be usable with Reflasia, or I wish that it had a little more power where it like spun back cards in pendulum zones as well. Because then it would be like man, this card is like way too good not to play. Because I just don't think that people are going to play this unless like you know Solemn Notice gets like hit the one or something like that. But I do think Konami's. I 
think I think that they're in the right. I think they're going in the right direction. We saw them, you know, design cards like Unwavering Bonds, where they're trying to make anti pendulum cards for when they activate. You know, your opponent summons or they activate that um that uh, that uh pendulum sorcerer. Okay, negate the effect, banish it. They try and activate that guiding a rotney, you know, negate it and banish it. Now they're going after the actual summons themselves. So I do like the fact that they're going after pendulums hard because obviously they see the mechanic is like way stronger than anything that they've released i just think that um at this time there are cards that do a little better job of dealing with the pendulum summon and dealing with other things i'm really not going to talk about solemn warning because that card is restricted so you know you can't really guarantee you're ever going to get the solemn warning this is what the artwork looks like for pendulum hole and honestly I can't really identify what's going on. Like, I know that the pendulum monsters are getting sucked into a hole, obviously. But on, other than this one, which I think this is going to be a new archetype that's coming out in, in, um, in the Dark Illusion. I don't know what this is or what this is. Like, I don't know what these monsters are. So, if you guys can tell me, that would be super helpful. So, let me know what you guys think of this card. I think it's side deck worthy. But only against pendulum decks, obviously. You can't really use it uh, in any other matchup. And you're not going to want to use it on yourself. But maybe you can, like, like if you're playing Guide Narodne, then I could suggest it. Like, if you know you're playing Draco Pals versus Draco Pals, and you're playing Guide Narodne, where you can just search this card, turn one, and, you know, have, like, a free copy of a card that just stops your opponent pendulums. Like, I'm, I'm fine with that. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching, as always.